Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're a manufacturer of medical devices or in vitro diagnostic devices, and you're based outside the European Union, there's one key role you need to know about the EU authorized representative. In today's video, we're going to dive into what this role is, why it's crucial for your business, and how you can ensure your products are compliant with EU regulations. Let's get started. So, what exactly is an EU authorized representative? In a nutshell, an EU authorized representative, or EUAR, is a legal entity based in the European Union that represents non EU manufacturers of medical devices and IVDs. They act as the liaison between the manufacturer and the regulatory authorities in the EU to ensure the product complies with EU law. This role became even more important after the implementation of the EU's Medical Device Regulation MDR and In Vitro Diagnostic Regulation IVDR, which introduced stricter safety and performance requirements for medical devices and diagnostics. Now, let's talk about what an EU authorized representative actually does. Their responsibilities go beyond just signing off on documents. Let's break it down. 1. Ensure regulatory compliance. 2. Hold the technical documentation. 3. Manage product registrations. 4. Handle vigilance and reporting. 5. Act as contact for EU authorities. First, the EU authorized representative ensures that your medical device or IVD complies with the EU MDR or IVDR regulations. This means they oversee compliance with standards, labeling, and safety assessments. They also hold the technical documentation, which is like the device's blueprint detailing everything about the product, including its design, testing, and safety data. Another critical responsibility is handling product registrations with EU databases like EUDAMED, which is a central database for medical devices. The EUAR also plays a key role in vigilance reporting incidents, such as adverse events, to the relevant regulatory authorities. Finally, they act as the point of contact between the manufacturer and EU regulators, ensuring smooth communication. Now, who exactly needs an EU authorized representative? If you're a manufacturer located outside the European Union and you want to sell your medical devices, or IVDs, in the EU, you must appoint an EU authorized representative. This is a legal requirement. This applies to manufacturers from the US, Canada, China, India, and any other country outside the EU. If you're based outside the EU and don't have a physical presence in Europe, you cannot legally market your medical devices or IVDs in the European Union without an EU authorized representative. Now, let's talk a bit more about the regulations that make this role so important the EU Medical Device Regulation MDR, and the In Vitro Diagnostic Regulation IVDR. These regulations came into force to ensure that all medical and diagnostic devices placed on the EU market are safe and effective. Both the MDR and IVDR are more stringent than the older directives, requiring more detailed technical documentation, stricter labeling, post-market surveillance, and clinical evaluation. The EU authorized representative helps ensure that your devices meet these requirements before they reach the market, protecting both the manufacturer and the end users. Now, you might be asking yourself, what happens if I don't appoint an EU authorized representative? Well, the consequences can be severe. Without an EU authorized representative, your products cannot legally be sold or distributed in the EU. Customs authorities may stop your products at the border. And in some cases, you could face product recalls or fines. It's not just about legal compliance. Having an EU authorized representative also ensures that your products are safe for patients and consumers. So, how do you go about appointing an EU authorized representative? The process is straightforward, but you want to make sure you're working with a professional, reputable partner. First, you'll need to find a company or organization based in the EU that specializes in this service. They'll help you manage everything from documentation and compliance to communicating with EU authorities. The authorized representative agreement will outline their responsibilities and your obligations as a manufacturer. 
Appointing an EU authorized representative not only keeps you compliant with the law, but also brings a range of benefits for your business. 1. Access to the EU market. 2. Regulatory expertise. 3. Peace of mind on compliance. 4. Efficient regulatory communication. By working with an experienced EU AR, you get seamless access to the European market, and they handle the complex regulatory requirements so you don't have to worry about missing a step. Plus, their expertise ensures that any regulatory issues or incidents are addressed quickly and efficiently. So, to wrap it all up, if you're a non-EU manufacturer of medical devices, or IVDs, appointing a new authorized representative is a must. It's not just about following the rules. It's about ensuring the safety and effectiveness of your products for the people who need them. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. If you found this helpful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more insights on regulatory compliance in the medical device industry. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. See you in the next video. And remember compliance is key to success in the EU market.